Welcome back to JKP Rising Dead Space Updates. Let's get right into it. We're going to talk about Tanya Clark, the Dead Space 2 and 3 backwards compatibility updates, and some future videos that I want to do on Dead Space coming up on the channel, as well as talk about Dead Space Universe once again. So Dead Space Universe, it's a community of a Facebook fan page where we talk about Dead Space, and there's lots of posts, fan art, discussions, Dead Space 4. We recently hit over 3,500 engineer members, which is crazy. If you have not checked out Dead Space Universe, link is in the description below. Every Dead Space video I upload to JKP Rising, in the description we'll have a link to where you can go join Dead Space Universe. So if you're a passionate Dead Space fan, you want to talk to other Dead Space people, feel free to check out Dead Space Universe. It's growing every day and there's a lot of cool stuff on there. It's been almost a month since I talked about the Dead Space 2 and 3 backwards compatibility. It's still not on Xbox One, sadly, but the numbers every month are growing exponentially, so let's talk about that. Dead Space 2, on February 8th, it had 35,774 votes, but now March 5th, 36,409 votes, an increase of 635 votes. Dead Space 3 is still beating Dead Space 2, which is, again, surprising to me, but that's great. February 8th, it had 36,656 votes, and now March 5th, it has breached 37,306 votes. An increase of 650 votes. Probably because Dead Space 3 has cooperative play, which is why I still think cooperative play should be implemented into Dead Space 4. I'll get more into that later on in this video. Going back to the backwards compatibility, every time I talk about this, in the description below, there will be a link where you can go and vote for Dead Space 2 and 3. Every so often, I think Xbox lets you re-vote again. So if you have not voted, if any, and if you can re-vote, by all means, Go in the description below, Revo for Dead Space 2 and 3. Let's get these games onto Xbox One. And people keep mentioning, how about PS4? How about PS4? Right now, the Xbox One, in my opinion, has the best program for these backwards compatibility games. And PlayStation 4, as far as I know, they charge you again for games you already own. And I know they do that for Xbox One, but it's like a very cheap price. And if you own the game already, you don't have to rebuy it. On PS4, I believe you have to rebuy it even if you already own it. I do think overall the Xbox One backwards compatibility program is far more superior than PlayStation 4. And that's really why I only cover Xbox One. Not to mention, I don't have a PS4. Let's talk about the Tanya Clark interview. We do have a confirmed interview for Tanya Clark, but right now the biggest issue we're having is setting up a date. Not to mention, Tanya Clark is busy with other projects. So I have updates on that and I have set a deadline. I have sent her an email setting up a deadline because we have been waiting a long time It's not fair for us to wait But at the same time, it's not fair for me to keep bugging her because she has a life of her own So here's some updates on the Tanya Clark interview. It's still happening. She's still interested I know it's been long overdue That's why I've set a deadline to hopefully get this interview going and the deadline I've set is pretty open So hopefully she's okay with it on February 13th She responded with some pretty awesome news. Hi So I played Dead Space 2 for a few hours with my friend the other day Day. When I say I played, I meant I played for a few minutes and then watched him play the rest of the time. I have never played a game before, can you believe it? I mean, not since Pac-Man or something. Smiley face, smiley face, smiley face, smiley face. So I get the feel, and I certainly saw Nicole up there at the top, and somewhere in the game, she presented herself in an elevator and said, make us whole. But that's as far as we got. What do you think? Should I play this out to the end? Watch him play? I would still be in the same room if it was me. Smiley face, smiley face, smiley face, smiley face. Speak soon. The next day I responded, if you have time to play till the end, Dead Space 2 is among the best in the series. Plus you are incredible as Nicole, so it's up to you. I highly recommend finishing it. A couple days later, on February 21st, I sent her another follow-up email. Any updates on your progression on Dead Space 2? Thanks, and I hope you are doing well, smiley face. Two days later, on February 23rd, she responded, smiley face, smiley face, smiley face, smiley face, not yet, dot, 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 busy days, dot, 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 stay tuned. And as of today, recording this video, March 5th, I sent her a follow-up email, as I mentioned before, about a deadline. Hey, Tanya, checking in to see how Dead Space 2 is coming along. I know you are very busy with other projects. Would it be okay if I could give you a deadline? Line for this interview. Would it be possible if we could record it before May 1st, 2017? I know you are involved with other things, so I perfectly understand busy schedules. Let me know if that is okay with you. Thank you, smiley face. So I know May 1st is quite a bit away. We're talking a little less than two months, but like I said before, Tanya Clark is a very busy person. She got to work on a major video game, Dead Space 2, which we think, or maybe not all of us, but we still believe Dead Space 2 is one of the best, if not the best in the series. So that that's a pretty big title to have on your resume. And she's probably busy doing other who knows what big type of projects just like Dead Space 2. And since time has gone by, she might be doing bigger stuff than Dead Space 2. So Tanya is a very busy person. And I don't want to be that guy that's like, oh, we need to have an interview next week right now. Because I don't owe her anything. She does not owe me anything. So it's not fair for me to rush her and vice versa. So hopefully May 1st is a big enough gap for her to get on board with this interview. And uh, hopefully it all works out in the end. Lastly, I want to talk about some Dead Space 
homework-based videos that I want to make coming up on Chicopee Rising. I'm currently on spring break, got no homework, so YouTube is my destination. So really quick, I want to show you guys some videos I would like to make during my break. Not saying I can get to all these videos because I have other stuff planned like Bioshock, Halo, and Deus Ex. I'll definitely be tackling some of these videos, and if I can't tackle all of them in spring break, I'll definitely be uploading them beyond spring break. So I mentioned mixing survival horror with cooperative play for Dead Space 4. That's a video I definitely want to tackle and explain on how Visceral Games or whoever makes Dead Space 4 could tackle that successfully. A little while ago, I uploaded a video talking about how Dead Space 4 could continue after Awakening. Well, as usual, you guys came up with way better ideas than I did, and I wanted to upload a video talking about how Dead Space 4 could continue after Awakening by fan suggestion, so stay tuned for that. We started a Dead Space 4 movement, and I want to make a video telling you guys how I do it, so maybe that can help out someone out there that is confused on how exactly to spread a Dead Space 4 movement. About a week and a half ago, there was some new information on what Dead Space 3 could have been, and I want to do a video talking about exactly what Dead Space 3 could have been. Here's a big video. So we've been talking about Dead Space 4 for a while, and I want to piece together some ideas we have, maybe structure a good outline for what Dead Space 4 could be like. This is obviously not going to be final because we're not making Dead Space 4, but it could be a cool little video to make. Last but not least, Dead Space 4 discussion, what we want as a community. After all these Dead Space 4 videos that I've been uploading, and after I upload a lot more of those, I want to upload this video to like kind of pin to EA and Visceral Games saying, hey guys, this is what we want. This is what we want in Dead Space 4. This is what we'd like to see in Dead Space 4. So it's like a little message to the company saying, hey, here's an outline. Here's what you could do. Here's how you can get started. My name is James. I'm JKP Rising. You are in the right spot for Dead Space 4, Dead Space information. Dead Space Universe is a great place to go for more Dead Space activity. Subscribe for some more Dead Space on JKP Rising. Any new official news, you can stay tuned to this channel. Thank you so much for your support. Like the video if you liked anything I had to say. Thank you so much. I love this community. I'm so happy we have a voice. Let's keep this going. Rock on. Dead Space 4. Have a good one. See you later.